Uh, welcome to another session. Here we are going to talk about the topic pressure, uh, which means that uh, we shall be looking at some of uh, the questions that we expect from this topic and how are you supposed to address them. Now, the first question here we are told is the diagram shows a cylinder containing propane gas. The propane gas is uh, stored in the cylinder at a pressure of uh, 1.03 times 10 raised to the power 6 pascals. Then we are supposed to state the formula linking pressure, force, and area. So in this case, we are supposed to indicate that pressure equals to force over area is written there. And Roman 2, the cylinder has an internal surface area of 1.13. We are supposed to calculate the force exerted on the wall of uh, this cylinder by propane gas. Now, we are going to make um, force the subject of uh, the formula uh, so that we can be able to work out this. Huh? So that uh, in order to get this, we are going to say force equals to pressure times area. Then substituting pressure and area, we are going to work out this and our answer is going to be Yes, if we use our calculator, our answer is going to be, let us just work it out. If you write it in standard form, this is what we have. Next, we are supposed to explain why pressure exerted by propane gas is equal in all directions. And then say that uh, this is because the particles of propane moves randomly colliding with all walls of the container exerting a force force per unit area exerted is the same on all sides hence pressure is the same in all sides the graph shows how the pressure of a gas varies with its temperature so we are supposed to describe how the graph can be used to show that there is a minimum value of temperature known as absolute zero uh, first when you have plotted a graph of uh, pressure against temperature in degrees celsius if you extend or extrapolate or uh, make this line to cut the x-axis by just extending it it means we are going to get the absolute temperature so absolute zero is the temperature when the pressure of a gas is zero at that given point that gas has zero kinetic energy so in order to show there is that we need to extrapolate the line backwards so that it can be able to cut the x-axis so let us just do it so that you can be able to see exactly what i'm trying to say so that point this point is the absolute zero and which is usually negative 273 uh, degrees celsius if you plot a graph of pressure against temperature in kelvin it's um, a straight line that runs from the origin meaning pressure and temperature in kelvin are directly proportional like that going further now we have uh, another question state the formula linking pressure difference height density and gravitational field strength and at this given point we're going to say pressure equals to height times density times the gravitational field strength h rho g height is the um, height of uh, the liquid column that is uh, the second part is the density of the liquid and uh, g is the gravitational field strength and you need to remember those are the factors that affect pressure in liquids or fluids the pressure difference between the surface of the water and the water at the bottom of the bottle is 2300 pascals calculate the depth of the water in the bottle then we're going to substitute and apply the formula that we have mentioned here and we are supposed to have our answer in uh, centimeters of course now making h the subject of the formula and substituting our values density is 1000 times 10 
then this becomes uh, 0 0.23 meters times 100 in order to get our answer in centimeters as 23 centimeters and uh, the next question here the examiner was testing whether you understand uh, how pressure varies with depth we have to we have three holes there a which is at the top we have b and c is at the same level with um, b so roman ones we are supposed to draw a line on diagram two to show the path of water leaving both uh, the bottle from all a now what you need to remember there is that uh, at a pressure is least so water will travel uh, a least distance so because the pressure at that given point is less pressure in liquids depends on the depth c is at the same level so explain the path of water leaving bottle from all a so we are here we are supposed to give the reason why is that the case why is it the way we have drawn there and we're going to say at point a there is least pressure so water will um, experience a small force as it comes out of out of uh, the hole hence travels at a short distance and that's exactly i defined there moving further to roman 3 l or c is at the same depth in the bottle as will be but on the opposite side so we need to identify the fact that um, they are it's on the opposite side but they are going to they are experiencing the same pressure so oh, since all c and b are at the same level or depth then pressure is the same so meaning the water is going to come out at the same rate and it will cover the same distance so the shape of the, the trajectory of water is going to remain the same and it will just move like that huh? just like that diagram one shows ice cube floating at rest in the beaker so it's not moving up or down it's at rest meaning the resultant force is zero state the value of the resultant force at that point so since it's not moving the resultant force at that point is actually zero oh there is this question also we were supposed to suggest why there is a hole in the cup that one is to allow air to flow into the container so that uh, atmospheric pressure can be able to act on the surface of water there so once air is coming in water can be able to flow out and for that reason now atmospheric pressure will be acting on the top of uh, the surface of water so that um, there is a balance between inside and outside pressure i believe that is uh, well understood so we can be able to move to question three whereby we are told that uh, there is a cube uh, ice cube that is resting on the water surface and you see that um, it's resting so it means it's not moving so the resultant force is zero at this given point the two forces are balanced then not moving so meaning that the resultant force is zero state the formula linking pressure difference height density and gravitational field strength is a question that uh, you also expect to 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 have so you need to know that it's a uh, h rho g like that moving to the next part here we are supposed to work out um, the pressure and then our answer is going to be 410 pascals which is approximately 400 pascals but uh, the formula uh, linking pressure force and area this is pressure in solids is uh, as given there then we can be able to apply it in order to work out the force in this case and then our f is going to be equal to 400 times 0 0.0017 and our final answer becomes 0 0.68 newtons explain let's move down here explain why the ice cube will accelerate up upwards when force x is removed when force x is removed then the upthrust force will be greater than the weight then 
the resultant forces forces will be acting upwards and that's why we are supposed to state there the upward force is greater than the weight of the cube hence the resultant forces will be acting upward hence it will accelerate upward those are the reasons and if you are finding value from this uh, tutorial please consider sub subscribing also you can be able to share this um, video to your friends also that they can be able to benefit as well moving further let's check if there is uh, anything left anything left remember to subscribe for more uh, there is uh, another section here i just felt that i have to share this with you how do gases exert pressure in a container this is a very very important question that you have to know for the purpose of your exam remember uh, a gas is uh, made of uh, molecules and these molecules keep on moving in random motion and in the process they collide with the walls of the container exerting a force and the force per unit area is pressure so we are going to say gases are made of molecules which moves in a random continuous a continuous random motion they collide with the walls exerting a force and force per unit area is pressure now how does temperature or heat when heat is introduced how does it affect the pressure in a gas so we are going increases what increasing temperature increases the kinetic energy of the gas particles making them vibrate more frequently and uh, exerting more force hence increasing pressure i believe uh, you've benefited i believe you've learned something new and uh, don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video